Cincinnati's certified most accurate forecast. Too much of a good thing out there in California. Boy, after four or five years of living in extreme drought, they've made up big time for all of the water that, and snow that they've missed over the past couple of seasons here. A lot of that coming just within the past month alone. All right, outside tonight, we've got our own very spring-like weather that's in place. Here's a live look from high atop Karoo Tower. The flag blowing out of the south and east tonight. Evidence of a southeasterly wind that's going to give us a much milder night tonight. Spring fever continues across the area as we go through the rest of the upcoming week. Temperatures are going to continue to run 15 to 20 degrees above normal for this time of the year. Not record setting, but certainly unseasonably warm. Now, rain chances, they're going to remain at a minimum, even though you're going to see the threat for showers creep into the forecast as early as tomorrow afternoon. I really don't foresee substantial rain at the earliest to really probably Thursday night and then into Friday. And that takes me to the third headline here, looking at the potential for maybe some severe weather or at least stronger storms that is. Friday afternoon and Friday night. Here's a look at those winds again. Notice the orientation of the arrows. They're all out of the south and east, so our winds are backing around to the south tonight, and that will help us out in two ways. One, it won't be as cool, and then secondly, I don't think we'll have to worry about widespread areas of dense fog. There may be a little bit of patchy fog in the morning and some of the river valleys, but overall, we won't have the widespread travel issues as it relates to fog tomorrow morning to start out. So temperatures, generally everyone's still very mild in the mid 50s right now. Some of the cooler locations, Wilmington, Hillsboro, over towards Harrison, including down there around Maysville. You're in the 40s, but everyone else for the most part still hovering between about 50 and 55. And that's where we're at currently at the airport. 55 with a southeasterly wind at this hour. So our winds have gone back around to the south. Notice all this high cloud cover moving in. So that in combination with a light southeasterly wind will prevent any widespread fog overnight tonight. I'm keeping my eye on two storm systems, one to the north, one to the south here. They're basically going to pull a split on the Ohio Valley. One main area of rain will pass us off to the north, and this other secondary main area of rain will generally stay off to our south. So we'll get whatever is left over in between these two systems. And notice there's not a lot of rain around St. Louis tonight, but this is basically what we should expect. The threat for some intermittent showers in here anytime really from tomorrow evening through Thursday morning. Again, that's going to be very light and spotty though. Look at temperatures tonight. This is what we should expect the next couple of nights around here. Temperatures still in the mid 60s out towards the Mississippi River. That's the air that's moving in here. So here comes the clouds tonight. We'll be a quiet overnight. You'll have a decent amount of sunshine to start out on your Tuesday. I think that sun though kind of fades behind thickening and increasing cloud cover. That said, it's still a very nice day. Temperatures will be well into the 60s. It looks dry all day long. And as you can see here on Futurecast, even tomorrow night, it's really not squeezing out any appreciable rain across the area. Maybe some showers early Wednesday morning. So overall, between now and let's say once again, Thursday morning, things are fairly quiet around here. It's not going to be until really Thursday night, Friday, things get more active. So. The jet stream so far to the north, we continue to enjoy unseasonably mild weather right through the end of the week here. As we go into Friday, notice how this big buckle kind of develops. This U shape develops in the jet stream. That is what's going to bring in the threat for stronger storms or maybe some severe weather as we transition to much cooler weather for the rest of the weekend. By the weekend, we'll see about a 20 to 25 degree drop in temperatures. Sounds like a big deal, but it's only actually back to where we should be in mid to late February. So 50 for our overnight low tonight, again, staying unseasonably mild. And then for tomorrow, more clouds, PM showers. I mentioned at 10, we could probably throw three or four more question marks on there. I think most of us stay dry. Here's a look at your day planner. 54 at 8 a.m., 61 by lunchtime, and then into the mid 60s for what should be, again, a very nice spring-like afternoon. Same story again on Wednesday, same deal on Thursday. We'll keep the threat for some spotty stuff in here. No one day looks like a washout, and then we get more concerned by Friday. So the end of the week is really what we should be focusing on there. And there's your cooler weather in time for the weekend. All right, Kevin, thank you. Well, boy, a scary moment on the court tonight.